All right, so here we have a main idea question. We'll often see questions like this, and they'll ask us about main or central ideas and themes. Uh, the main idea of the final paragraph is that, and whoop, you don't get to see what it says. I'm covering it up. Um, because you and I are going to take a little jaunt over to the final paragraph. So let's, first, let's rephrase this question. What's the main idea of the final paragraph? And then let's head on over to the final paragraph, read around, and make some predictions. Then we'll take that prediction back to the answer choices and see what we get. All right, here we go, final paragraph. These human quirks mean that we can never make purely rational decisions. A new wave of behavioral economists aided by neuroscientists is trying to understand our psychology, both alone and in groups, so they can anticipate our decisions in the marketplace more accurately. But psychology can also help us understand why we react in disgust at economic injustice or accept a moral law as universal which means that the relatively new science of human behavior might also define ethics for us. Ethical economics would then emerge from one of the least likely places, economists themselves. Okay, so by sheer bulk of sentences, uh, behavioral economists and neuroscientists are mentioned a lot, and the, the science of psychology is mentioned a lot in this, pa in this paragraph. So my guess is going to be that the answer will have something to do with how behavioral economists or neuroscientists or psychologists are going to be developing new ways of understanding ethical behavior in business or in economics generally. And that's further supported by the idea that we keep on seeing words like new and emerge and might happen, uh, suggesting that whatever is going to take place is taking place in the future. Let's go on back. Let us expose the answers. What do we got? The main idea of the final paragraph is A, human quirks make it difficult to predict people's ethical decisions accurately. Okay, that's that reminds me of the first sentence of the paragraph. I don't know that I'd call that the main idea, but that's not wrong per se. Uh, B, people universally react with disgust when faced with economic injustice. That is, again, an individual thing that is, that's a specific line that's mentioned, but I don't think that that's the main idea either. I'm not crossing either A or B off quite yet, but they do seem a little bit too narrow to be the main point of an entire paragraph. These seem like summations of individual sentences. Additionally, they, they seem to have very little to do with the future, per my prediction, so I'm probably going to cross them off in a bit. C. Understanding human psychology may help to define ethics and economics. That, to me, seems like the closest to our prediction. Uh, that this that the main idea of this paragraph was going to be about psychology and its impact on on ethics and economics in the future. Or finally, D economists themselves will be responsible for reforming the free market. Well, that's the last line of the paragraph. But again, I think that's too narrow. I think A, B, and D are all too narrow. They're all about specific individual lines, individual sentences. C is the only one that pulls back to look at the entire paragraph. So I'm going to say that's our main idea.